Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Allah Azza wa Jal first and foremost ordered us to follow the Sabil of Mu'mineen and that's the way of the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een and that's our success is by following the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and their way of understanding the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een they were there when revelation was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and they were there to know and understand the reason and the context of revelation and they understood and were witnesses of the ahadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and they transmitted and hived and memorized and practiced those hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and they practiced the Quran and understood the Quran and its meanings and they were there to get what they what was unclear to them directly from the mouth of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that's the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and if you want guidance listen to this hadith of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he said, alayhi salatu wa salam, Inni qad taraktu fikum, fikum shay'ain. Lan tudillu ba'dihima kitabi la wa sunnati. Very simple. Min jawami al-kalim. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Alayhi salatu wa salam. He said, Verily I've left for you two things, and you won't be misguided after it. I Meaning, if you follow those two things, you will not be misguided. The book of Allah and my sunnah, meaning his way. Don't think that there's any shortcuts. There's no shortcuts. We don't have to rationalize and say in this time, well, the sunnah is not useful. Or the sunnah is not beneficial. Or the sunnah is not as good as such as a no. Be cautious of that, that mentality. That is a mentality of disbelief. Disbelief in the guidance of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam or thinking that there's a guidance equal to it, or a guidance better than it, or a guidance close to it, abadin, a'udhu billah min dhalika, and may Allah protect us from kufr shirk wa zandaka, ameen ya rabbil alameen. If we can put that into practice, following the Quran and the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with the proper understanding, the understanding of the salaf, the sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala, and, and, and ajma'een, then we'll have success. And may Allah grant us success. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.